Hey, yo, question. Let's run that back. And a switch here. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. A lot was made about the Kings in their home last year, but it wasn't about how well are they playing at home. It was about where is their home going to be next season. The Kings are staying in Sacramento, but they played like it might be their last to rock. And you go back to the Kings at home last year, 20 and 21 record, and it was easy to see just how much tougher a team they were in this building. You know, Steve, they really looked like a team that could compete with anyone at any time. Well, this team really rallied behind the franchise. Outside T. All sorts of time. That's good. Teague's got five Team. points so far. We've got 155 left in the first half of the game. Fires it up. Cashes in for a double-digit lead. Teague's got seven. You know, with the troubles he's had butting heads with coaches and others, you might wonder why the team keeps putting up with Cousins antics. Well, I'll tell you why. The greater your talent, the longer your rope. Because this kid does have talent. And Clark, you mentioned Cousins' problems. There were some saw themselves slip from a middle-of-the-pack playoff team to being on the outside looking in at the playoffs. One reason was their play on the road. He's shooting high numbers and poorly in the even-numbered year. That goes all the way back to his days at Butler. Now here's Teague. Defense is right there. A terrific Seven. shot on the turnaround. Teague. Teague's now Thomas. Here's Teague. That's good. And it's Thomas picking up the assist. 14 point. Able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Here's Teague. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it ball. Stepped up to the plate. And I think it's great that the Kings get to keep their team. And hopefully Seattle will end up with one in the next couple of years. That was simply a defensive. Nice pass. That one was right on target. Here's Teague. Plays it up and banks it in. Teague's got seven points here in this quarter. Well, guys, this is a huge opportunity. Get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. During that break, Coach Mike Malone had some words for the center. He is not pleased with the score and implored them to... Kings trail by nine. Here's Teague. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Thomas. Now here comes Teague leading the break. He feeds it to Cousins. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And now it's only a five-point Utah lead. The kicks to Teague. Let's it go from the wing, and that Seven. one swishes right in. You were able to get some extra minutes tonight while your team was getting blown out, but didn't make much of an impression. What happened out there? Yo, that one's not on me. You saw how the rest of the team was playing? What do you expect me to do with that? I tried to come in there and clean up the mess that was left, but I ain't no miracle worker basketball janitor dude. Embarrassing game, man. That's all there is to it. What's up, coach? Yeah, it was a rough game. Hey, look, I really appreciate the opportunity. I just feel like everyone was a little off out there, myself included. Wow. I mean, I'll just step it up next time out. Wait, hold on. I'm not able to bring this team back from some crazy deficit. All of a sudden, I'm losing minutes? 
Yo, maybe if you put me out there sooner, we wouldn't be in some crazy hole. How is this all coming back on me? Yo, I don't get it, man. I do not get it. I know I'm one of the best players on this team. I should be getting more minutes, not less. If this is some sort of crazy motivational thing, it's not working, coach. What? Come on, coach. That's crazy, man. Whatever you say, coach. I'm going to see you there. Thanks for stopping by. As you know, it's important for me to regularly check in with all of our players. So, how are you feeling about the team at this point of the season? Well, I've been playing pretty well lately. I feel like if I had some more minutes, I could really take my game to the next level. <laughs> you have stepped it up lately. But coach is the one who ultimately decides on the rotation. I'll talk to him, see if there's anything we can do. Uh, yeah, that'd be great, but only if you think it makes sense. I don't want a second guess coach. I'm just letting you know what I'm thinking. Of course. We're always going to make a decision that's right for this organization, but I appreciate your input. That's good to hear.